Glenn Garrison was a very close friend. I first met Len in 1984 when he approached me to produce the trophies for that year's Black Penmanship Awards, which was the annual prize giving for black young writers organized by ASA, of which he was the founder and a director. We remained very close friends until his death. As a trained photographer, he was very much of an aesthetist who appreciated the kind of art I was struggling to create at that time. As a sculptor working in the African tradition, I've been inspired, encouraged and supported by Len through his criticism and suggestions, his invaluable insight into the areas of art and culture I was exploring and of course a common interest in things Pan-African, African, and the teachings of Marcus Garvey. Len was a person with a wide variety of pursuits. Apart from his interest in the arts, he was an educationalist, an avid collector, a poet and writer. He was one of the few people I knew who really appreciated the need to eradicate the negative stereotype of black people so prevalent in our society. To this end, he worked tirelessly to develop the African Caribbean Education Resource Center Black Cultural Archives. I knew him as a man who worked unceasingly to raise the profile of the black community's need for monuments that commemorate our deeds and aspirations. Where are our monuments? is the title of one of his poems. It was a question that was forever in his thoughts and actions. He died in February 2003 without seeing his dream realized, for there are still no monuments that honor the deeds of his community in this country. His dream did not die with him, however, for it lives on in the hearts and minds of all those who understand what he struggled for during his life, a life that was lived to the full. Working on the bust of Len was the culmination of many years of struggle to master the art of my craft. I'm quite happy with the final result, and I think Len would have been too. As I worked on the bust, I kept remembering these words of his. George, when are you going to do a mask of me? At the time, I was doing a series of gold commemorative masks. My reply was always, don't worry Len, I'll do you soon. Little did I know that it would not happen 
until after his death. I created the bust from a series of photographs that were taken by a mutual friend of ours, Azimori, a painter and photographer to whom I owe a debt of gratitude, for without his photographs, the project would have been a lot more difficult to achieve. My greatest problem, however, was the lack of profile photos as we tend to present our front view when we face the camera. The whole process took over two years to complete, as I encountered a series of health problems during the creation of the bust. Lines from Len's poem continue to pose these questions. Where are our heroes, martyrs and monuments? The monuments to mark our departure into the new world sojourn. Memories which others cast in towering bronze for posterity. For me, this bust is a step closer to answering these questions. And so, while poets and philosophers search for the key that will reveal the answers to all our problems, we who are left behind must salute and pay homage to the memory of those ancestors who left the warmth of their Caribbean homes to become pioneers and settlers in a strange and often hostile land. We who are the products of their efforts, must remember that often those who plant the seed are never at the harvesting. We must not forget that in their death lies our purification and renewal, for death is a sacred food of rebirth. We must never forget that it is their deeds and bones that nourish the soil of this land 